It's early in the morning. I'm at a truck stop in Al Lith, Saudi Arabia. And today is gonna be a weird one. Hopefully today I'll see a transformation. Two sides of Saudi Arabia that are completely different. This sandy, wind-blown, camel-ridden, sort of hellishly hot and desolate lowlands by the sea. And then the other is this southern Saudi Arabia in the southern Hejaz range. And it's almost like Yemen. It's green, it's verdant, especially this time of year. It has mountains. Well now, I've just crossed the literal line between the mountains and the desert. Here's the desert, and there, in the distance, are the mountains. Coming right up. I have arrived, basically, at what I came to see. I don't know which of these is higher. I think that's my mountain. I think that one's my mountain. But this is also quite beautiful. And this whole landscape is absolutely insane. I'm gonna climb that. It's 2 p.m. already, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get up there. I've reached the general vicinity of my mountain. This hill behind me, behind that, is the mountain that I'll climb. I'm about halfway up this bad boy. Funny thing, behind me you can see nothing. <laughs> that is a sandstorm. We're facing towards the west. And there's a huge sandstorm coming in from Africa, from North Africa and from uh, Eastern Africa. Hopefully I'm high enough up, a bit over 2,000 meters, that it doesn't come quite on top of me. But as I've been climbing, it's gotten worse down there. It's gotten worse every second. <sighs> I've arrived now at this sort of bizarre flat pasture on top of which is my beautiful peak. And that thing now looks, as always, quite a bit more intimidating than it did from down below. I better get climbing. Unfortunately, you can see quite clearly now that sandstorm coming up on that lower peak there. My peak is still gloriously unharmed. I've been climbing quite quickly, but that sandstorm has been climbing even faster than me. I have just done some of the worst bits of climbing that I've ever done. Not because it was steep or difficult, because it was wooded. I've just come up through this ravine back here and it was absolutely horrible. I'm filthy, covered in scratches, and it was bad. But now, I'm sort of close to the top. I found a cave. And I was hoping that maybe there were gonna be some petroglyphs inside, but there's nothing. Probably ancient people were not so stupid and recklessly ambitious as me to try to climb this high up this stupid mountain. They would never do that. I should turn around and go down this fucking mountain and stop climbing it. I cannot turn around before I get to some kind of summit. After only a 15 minute hike, I've come to a kind of peak and this is gorgeous. This is what I came here for. There's nothing like this landscape in the entire world, as far as I know, and I love it. It's a bit sandy up here, but it is gorgeous. Now I feel like it's worth it. Now I feel good, now I feel good. <laughs> beyond the last moment, beyond when I said that I was gonna turn around and go, by and go back, I finally made it. And this is what I love about climbing mountains, is that there's always a moment when you think that you cannot do it. You think that you're finished, that you have no more energy left. And you sit and you take a break and you think, and then you go and you look with fresh eyes at your route. And sometimes it works out perfectly. For me, this time I found a way up and it is beautiful up here. A chain of mountains. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that worth it. Here's the little guard house. And then this. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is great. I stopped uh, initially just to kind of get a look at the view but then it turns out that there's like a hundred crazy baboons out here. Good morning. 
Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this is an achievement. This is something where you can look at it and understand the wealth and the, the vibrancy of the, the civilizations that occupied this region before the modern era. You can see from here how what an incredible construction this thing is. It's built just literally into this little marble mountain. The white stone all over the place is marble. It's here too. It's different from all of the other rock around. Oh yes, oh yes, this is so fucking cool.